Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing London, the second edition from Osprey Games. And this is a, a game where we are architects tasked with rebuilding London after the Great Fire of London. Uh, so, and we build it all the way up to the 20th century. So if you're familiar with things in London, which you, you probably be familiar with some of them, uh, you will see all of those various landmarks come and go through our hands, not necessarily get built, but they will hopefully, will hopefully try and do something about them. If you are familiar with the first edition, this does have some big differences. One being the map's gone. There is no map. There are these cards instead that represent the boroughs that you can take control of. Uh, and some artwork's been changed, some cards have been rebalanced. There are a few other differences involved, but let's just get started. So on your turn, you start with uh, six cards. Each player starts with six cards, five pounds. It's nice to say pounds in a game. I lost my train of thought then on the pounds. Anyway, you have three options on your turn. You, can, you have to start your turn by drawing a card. You can draw, whenever you draw cards, you can always draw from the display, which is discarded cards, or from the top of the deck. Since I'm the first player, I need to draw from the top of the deck. And I find myself the East India Company, which is good at getting me a lot of money. So I have three options now. I can either, for an action, draw three more cards, which again would be from the top of the deck because nothing's gone into the display yet. I can buy a borough here, and this this was a, a real incentive in the old game on the map to go out and get a borough quickly because it's points. Uh, the boroughs count for things for cards later in the game. Want you to have certain boroughs, but also they got they got your cards, so it was a good way of getting a lot of stuff at once. Now, when you take them, they can get they give you powers and can get rid of um, poverty, which we'll collect throughout the game. So they, you are less incentivized to do that first. I could afford Southwark and Bermondsey though with my starting five pounds. Uh, and these are always the first three that come out. They've got special gray uh, titles. So sure, they're always the starting three. Everything else is shuffled in the deck. The final option, and it's what I'm gonna do, is develop. And to do this, you take a card that you want to develop. I want to develop the East India Company. I am going to place it into my city, which starts a stack. You can have any number of stacks in your city and we'll see how it works more as the game goes on. But this is gonna go into my city now. I need to pay four pounds to do it. And to develop any cards, you need to discard a card of the same color. And I think I've got two cards that basically just get four pounds. I'm gonna get rid of one of those. So the grocers are going on there. When you discard a card, it goes to the top row first. Once the top row's full, it goes onto the bottom row. So now we come over to my competitor, Glass Marty, and he has the same choice. He can choose to draw his card. He can have the grocers if he wants to, but I think he is going to just draw blind and he gets the Vintners. So he has got uh, the Great Fire Monument, just gets, is worth four points at the end, doesn't do anything else. Coffee House is a good way of it would be a good way of getting the Great Fire Monument out. It's a good way of, you put this down in your, you develop it into your city and then later on you can replace it without having to discard a card. And you can activate it straight away. Stock Exchange would be cool in a game with more players, I imagine. Take two pounds from each player. Uh, but yeah, in a two player game, it's just gonna get you two pounds and well, Covent Garden would get you five, so it's it's a lot better. Even though I suppose it's a it's a four pound swing really, isn't it? Taking two from me and giving it to Marty. Marty is going to go for Covent Garden, which is five pounds and two points. And he doesn't have to do anything to put it out other than discard a card. And he will discard the stock exchange since it's not very useful. Back to me. And I don't think I want either of those back. Let's see what I can draw. I get the leather industry. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's, it's seven pounds, which is brilliant, but it's gonna give me a poverty, which is not good. At the end of the game, uh, we work out the difference in our poverties, and the person who had the most loses a number of points equal to that difference. And if the difference is massive, the points you lose get just ridiculous. So you don't want to get a lot more poverty than another person. I'm going to put that leather industry straight out there. Oh, I've already got one. <laughs> I should look at these first, shouldn't I? And I have to discard a card of the same colour. I think I'm going to discard the Bank of England, which is nice, two pounds and two points, but it's gone now. Marty's going to draw blind again. And he gets the Haberdashers, which is just another nice four pound card. I think he is gonna get one of those out. He is going to get rid of the coffee house actually, and put the Haberdashers out as a new stack. You, you can put them on top of others because you might want fewer stacks. So we'll see when we uh, activate our cities. But for now, he's just gonna keep making new stacks. 
So it's my turn. Oh, I think I'm going to take the Bank of England back. I've, uh, well, not even changed my mind. You don't, that can be a tactic, you know. You, you hope that it's there later to take it back. I could run my city now. The trouble is, when you run your city, you take a poverty for each stack and each card in your hand. And I've got a lot of cards in my hand. So I think I want to try and get rid of a few more. I am going to put out the... I'm going to put out the leather industry again. You can have duplicates in this. That was a, I think it was a house rule in the first edition that you couldn't have copies because some of the cards uh, would be really, would be, would break the game if you had multiple copies of them. But that's all been sorted now. So I've got a lot of leather industry going on in my city. Marty is going to draw blind. He would like a card that lets him discard a card so he can get rid of the paupers. The fishmongers are nice. Uh, it's, it's a pound more than the vintners. He is going to, I think he's going to put the fishmongers out. He might get ready to activate his city actually in a minute. And he's going to get rid of this one, which is nice. It gives you an action. Draw two cards and get rid of this one from the game. Back to me again. I'd like a blue card to get this waterworks out. It lets me remove two poverty. Although I don't have poverty yet. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a good one to have for later, isn't it, really? I'm going to draw this card because I'm going to get rid of it straight away to put this Bank of England out. I'm going to go for a lot of stacks, I think. We'll come back to Marty. Unfortunately, he has to uh, he has to play a card. So he needs to draw a card. I think he's going to go blind. <laughs> well, draw blind. He's not going to go blind. The Ren, now, he needs another blue card before he can put this out. But put any two cards from your hand into your building display and then remove this from the game. You must pay their additional cost. It's a nice thing to have. Especially since it's just put to any two cards and you don't need to discard the same colour. Now Marty is in a bad position now. He could draw three more cards to, you know, try and get some matching colours because he can't put anything out right now. But he is going to activate his city. So to do this, we just go through the stacks and what he needs to do. Uh, on the left-hand corner here, there might be a command like for my East India Company. That's discard a card to use that ability but we just go through them. So for Covent Garden, he gets five pounds and two points. So we will move him up on his points here and grab him five pounds. And this means that the card flips over. There are ways of preventing this if you get certain cards, but usually you lose the use of the card and the stack stays there. So you are always gonna lose this amount of, um, you're always gonna gain this amount of poverty from now on. He gets four pounds for the haberdashers and then five pounds for the fishmongers. So he is stinking rich right now. He flips over all of those. And for poverty, we work out that he takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poverty. So the discs are fives. So he has just, he's in the lead. If, if the game ended now, he would lose nine points. Back to me. I think I'm gonna take the coffee house. You don't have to expend a card to place this. And I think I'm going to run my city as well, just because I could put the coffee house out. Or actually, I've had an idea. Let's place the coffee house out because you don't need to expend a card to place it. It is another stack though. Yeah, it's another turn before we activate. I was thinking, put this out and then when we run the city, this lets me put a card out and I can put the waterworks out and get rid of some of the poverty that we've gained from these cards. But I don't think it's worth waiting. I think, yeah, let's... We've already got one more stack in the city than Marty, so... Yeah, I think it's time It's time to just activate it. So I need to discard a card for the East India Company. And I am going to discard Paupers, which is a good way of getting rid of it because they just clog up your hand. Then I can get my 12 pounds. It is bizarre saying pounds in a game, really. Usually I'm just saying money or dollars. So that goes over. So it's made me... It's, it's got rid of the porpoise for me, which is a positive getting rid of that card, and it's made me eight pounds, essentially. The leather industry gets me seven, but also gives me a poverty. Same for this one. And finally, the Bank of England gets me two tiny pounds, but two points, so I've caught up with Marty there. So they flip over, and I take one, two, three, four, five, six poverty. So I am, I've got one more poverty than Marty, which isn't bad really, is it? So the, the discarding the card from the East India Company not, not only got rid of the porpoise for me, it made me take one fewer poverty. So it was a really good, uh, really good thing to have really. 
I'll say really a bit more. Anyway, time for Marty. What does he want to do? He wants to draw blind from the deck and try and get a match in colour. Waterworks. Oh, now, so what does he do now? I think hoping to get some more cards, he is going to do the action of buy a borough. He is going to buy Westminster. So that's going to cost him eight of his lovely pounds. And for taking Westminster, he gets two cards of his choice. So he is going to go from the deck, I think, to try and get more blues. He's got a red now. Woolwich Arsenal. That's seven pounds to activate it, but five points. And St. Paul's, which is uh, eight pounds to put it out, but a nice six points at the end of the game, but just doesn't actually do anything and doesn't flip. He gets four points as well and can get rid of two poverty. So he's on six now. And he's got some extra things now. He has got an option at the start of his turn. He can draw zero, one or two cards. So in a turn when he's going to be running his city, he can choose not to draw cards, so to take less poverty, and then make up for it by drawing two the next turn. And when he does activate his city, he gets a pound. So that only happens, though, while Westminster is the most recent borough he bought. If he buys, say, Southwark, that goes in front. And it's, because as I said, some cards consider whether you've got north or south boroughs or whether you've got ones on the river or not. These are on the river because they've got this symbol. So he's done that. He's paid for it. A new borough comes out if I can get one. It is Hackney. My turn. I am going to draw... Yeah, I'm going to go from the deck as well. I've got a hospital. Now, the hospitals are really nice. Two pounds to put out. But when you would flip another card in your display, flip this instead. So you can, you can get more use out of other things. So I've got two nice blues now, but I don't want to... I want to put both of those out. I could draw three cards as a action, but I just got a ton of money, didn't I? So it's probably worth taking a borough. So what should I take? City's more expensive. This is better for taking loans. You can always take loans in this game. It is a Martin Wallace game. <laughs> you can always take loans and you need to, a 10 pound loan, you need to pay 15 at the end of the game. If you don't, you're gonna lose seven points. And you take an extra poverty every time you activate your city for every loan that you have. Uh, I, I'll, I'll try and take a loan to show it off a bit, but in our, in our games, we tend not to, especially Rachel, who I play uh, most of my games with, she is uh, vehemently against ever taking loans in games. So I don't know if I'd take that. Uh, if, I, if I do, it's in my interests to take a lot of loans because they get me 12 rather than 10, so I'm only losing three, really. And having a lot of money, you could buy tons of boroughs and things, but you know, you'll end up wasting the cards because you can only have a certain number of cards. Uh, I think it's when you get to eight or nine, you have to discard down. It's not in the hand limit. So I would like, Hackney's quite nice. It only gets rid of one poverty. The Southwark is quite cool. It gets rid of two poverty and lets me exchange a card in my hand with one from the development board, which is where we discard the cards. But when I run the city, it gives me a poverty. But if I get another borough before I run the city, then that's that's got me a bargain really. Yeah, I think we're going to go for Southwark. Whoops. So that is five pounds to get that borough. I get four cards. So I think let's draw one. Oh, very, very nice. Foxhall Gardens. Two, another coffee house. Three, almshouses for the Mercers. The Mercers is probably the one I want to get out the least, but I've got a lot of money now. I want to keep that up. So maybe I do want it out of Vauxhall Gardens. It's two pounds, two points, and get rid of a poverty. And then I could have my hospital out to keep it out there. Some great opportunities. I get one point and get rid of two poverty. So I'm on three now. And then, yeah, I've got the opportunity to exchange one of my cards for one from the display if I want to. But that is my turn. I'm not going to do that. So Marty needs to draw cards. He has the choice of how many to draw. Oh, we need to replenish the borough, actually. New Borough, Greenwich. When you run your city, discard any number of paupers and gain a pound and remove a poverty for every one you discarded. Marty's got a paupers. No, he's not going to get that though. He is going to draw. How many cards has he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. He's just going to draw one, I think, just from the top of the deck. Brewing has to discard a card but gets nine pounds. That is going out. He is going to play an action card, which is different. He doesn't have to discard another card to get this out. 
he's just going to do it. So Ren lets him put two cards from his hand into his building display, remove this from the game, he has to pay their additional cost. Brewing is going out for two pounds. And then I think the water works for one pound. My turn, I am going to, I think I'm gonna get the Salters, so I get a money card. And I am going to play to my my city. I'm gonna put the almshouses out. I wanna get rid of a lot of poverty this time around, I think. So I need to discard another brown. Let's Let's do this coffee house. I can also exchange a card if I want to. Oh, I've got that Mercer's move, I didn't need that. We'll stick with those for now. Marty is going to draw no cards. Yeah, he doesn't want to draw any cards. He's going to put out the Woolwich Arsenal and discard the Great Fire Monument. My turn. I'm going to just draw blind because I would like a blue, I think. West India Docks. Discard a card and seven pounds. So that's definitely better than the Salters, isn't it? I'm going to play to my city again, get rid of the Salters. So now when it's full and I have to put a card into it, you discard all the ones from the bottom, bring down the ones from the top, and now you can start filling up again. Marty's turn again. He could run his city and just try and, you know, keep it rapid. Just try and keep his really small. Yeah, I think he's going to do that. He's going to run his city. So to start with, he gets a pound. And then, well, before I take it, he is going to do brewing, discard his paupers, and so that flips over and he gets 10. Then the waterworks gets rid of two poverty. So he is down to three right now. He's going to spend seven pounds to run Woolwich Arsenal and five, pa five points for that. So he's on 11 now to my three. Uh, the waterworks needs to be flipped as well. And for poverty, he takes one, two, three, four, five. So he's on eight. So he's only two in front of me and he's run his city again. Over to me. I will... I'll draw from the deck. So I get... Oh, paupers. Oh, I have got the West India Docks there that lets me discard a card, so it's not all bad. Or I could get Greenwich. That would be nice. And I do want to get rid of... So they don't I? I don't want that on top because I don't want the uh, add of poverty. Two, three, four, five, six. I draw three cards, which would put me at my nine limit though. Yeah, I think maybe I want to wait one more turn before I do that. Let's put one of these blues out. I want all of these things to go out, but obviously I can't do that. Uh, do, do I want Vauxhall Gardens to go out? Now I'm going to put the hospital out because the hospital is three points. It's just not until the end of the game. And I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up waterworks. I'm maybe going to use the hospital to put to keep Vauxhall Gardens going. Okay, Marty, he is going to draw. He's going to draw two cards actually. So he's got workers' houses and street lights, both nice cards. He is going to play to his city, I think. Or he's going to buy something. No, I think he likes this power for now. He is going to put out... So the street lights is nice, but you have to pay £4 for the privilege of getting that extra point, whereas the workers' houses is just free to put out. Yeah, he's going to get rid of the vintners and put the workers' houses out. This is full, so we discard... Well, we remove these from the game, slide these down, and we've got the vintners out there now. My turn, I am going to draw the waterworks back and put out Vauxhall Gardens and get rid of the waterworks again to do that. Marty, he's going to draw the waterworks and then he's going to put out, yeah, he's gonna put out the waterworks and get rid of St. Paul's, eight, eight pounds to put that out. So you have to pay one to put the waterworks out. Back to me, did I wanna run the city? Oh, I wanted to buy, didn't I? I wanna buy Greenwich, six pounds. And I am, I've got tons of money. I should be using this power. I get three cards. I am going to... He's tempted to take some pulls. I've got a lot of money. That's a from Marty. He was going to take that right back. And then I'm going to draw the other two just from the deck. I don't want those two, I don't think. University of London. Uh, that is just a point and get rid of a poverty. 
and the police force, a player of your choice gains a poverty, and I get two points and lose a poverty. Only two pounds, but I haven't got another red to put it out. I get a point for that, and I get rid of three poverty. So I'm down to three, and I'm on four points. I'm catching up. Uh, that is my turn, though. Marty, he's really annoyed about that because he was going to take that blue back, put this out, and then probably run his city again. But he's just going to draw one card. Oh, and it's Porpoise. That's that's annoying for me as well. I wanted the Porpoise. Back to me. I'm going to draw the Porpoise. Yeah, I actually want Pauper cards for this. So to put stuff out, I think I am going to keep putting stuff out. I am going to put more stacks out. The University of London is nice. Two points and get rid of a poverty. St. Paul is six points though. I do like having all of this money. I'm going to put the University of London out. Uh, that does help Marty. He is going to draw St. Paul's. Just uh, He's just going to choose to draw one card from his power, and then he's going to play these streetlights. Although that's all he's doing is getting rid of some poverty. Oh, we, we should have another borough, shouldn't we? Bethnal Green, Stepney, and Poplar. Uh, five cards, two points, get rid of two poverty, no special power. My turn. I am going to draw from the deck. I get Turner's. And I will put, I'll put out the coffee house and get rid of the Mercer. So that's a lot of stacks now. Do I want to keep going at this? Because that's that's really a lot of stuff. Marty isn't going to be able to get rid of this. He's going to draw zero cards, and then he's going to run his city. So he can get rid of six poverty. Get a point. And then he takes one, two, three, four. Oh, and he gets a pound for that, doesn't he? So I don't know if that's worth doing. <laughs> Keeping the city really, really small does. And he has to pay four to do that. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth doing. I am aiming to just keep his city really small, though. On the other hand, here's mine. I'm going to draw from the deck and hope to draw a red card. There we go, Highgate Cemetery. Which, yeah, puts me... Puts me in a tough position again because I want to get rid of more poverty and it's more points. But this, this is better to get out, isn't it? Sorry, Marty. Uh, we're going to put another stack out and I'm going to discard Highgate Cemetery. Two pounds to put the police force out. Uh, and now I've got some bobbies on the beat. It is Marty's turn. He wants cards. He's going to draw two cards. He's got the omnibus. And so every time a player buys a borough card, when you've got this out, you put a pound on it. And then when you activate your city, you take all of the coins off it. So it's a, it's a thing that um, incentivizes you waiting to do your city, really, to get as much on it as possible. I think, though, he's going to play the Turners and discard the Omnibus to the display. I need to draw a card. I think I'm going to draw the Omnibus. But as much as I, it would be ideal to put another stack out, then I draw a card, and next turn when I, and the turn after when I activated it all, I could discard that extra card here, and I would discard my paupers here and have no extra cards. As it is though, I don't think I should wait that long and, and keep building up these stacks, because I always have these stacks now, and so it, it then turns you into, well, I don't want to activate my city until all the stacks are full. So I'm just going to activate the city. When I run the city, I can discard any number of paupers, and I gain a pound and remove a poverty for each one. So two poverty gone, and I get two pounds, and the paupers are discarded. So one goes there. We get rid of these. These come down, and we put that one there. And let's activate stuff. Police force, a player of your choice gains a poverty. Sorry, Marty, I'm down to no poverty, but that is about to change, don't worry. The coffee, oh, I forgot about the coffee house. I was supposed to use that for something. Uh, the coffee house, I will put the turners out because it would be pointless. Oh, this is actually brilliant. Uh, I'll put the turners out. So you, you place any card on the development board. Oh, on the development board, okay. I got really excited for a second. I'll have to pay its cost, but I can activate it right away. So we could put the Mercers out and just get five pounds. 
Are we earning a lot of money here? Not a great deal of money. Or some pools would be points. Yeah, let's put some pools out. No, I've changed my mind. I want the Mercers. I just want money. So, not as effective, that coffee house. I'm sure I had better plans for it when I originally placed it. Five pounds for that. Uh, am I gaining poverty from any of these? I've lost too much poverty. Oh, dear. So, discard a card for the West India Docks. I'll discard the Turners. All of this is wasted, isn't it? The almshouses are wasted. West India Docks, I've done. I should get seven pounds. Which one was I keeping to flip twice? I don't know if I want to save any of these with the hospital. So the Vauxhall Gardens, two pounds, and then two points. And then get rid of a poverty, which I can't do. I'll flip the hospital instead of that one. Let's save that. Wow, that's terrible <laughs> play, isn't it, from me? Seven points. And that one doesn't flip. Oh, that keeps activating. That's really nice. Okay. And for all of this, I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight poverty. So I'm back up. Oh... I'm really disappointed in myself for letting all of that happen. Anyway, that was uh, that was my big activation. I don't think my city should get any bigger. So Marty, he is going to draw two cards. So he's got the bridge, two pounds, and gain a pound for each brown card in your building display. Not great for him. And Tannhaus is gain a prestige for each blue and pink in your display, including this one. I think it'd be a shame for him to lose his Westminster power, but he is going to buy... Bethnal Green, I think. He's going to pay five, get Bethnal Green. So he gets two points and gets rid of two poverty. One, two. And he can draw five cards. He's going to draw St. Paul's, so he's definitely got another blue. Two, three, four, five. So let's discard up to three cards and get a prestige and remove a poverty for each card discarded. That would be great to get out because he's got two paupers that he definitely wants to get rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight cards, so that's okay. So he bought a borough with his turn. My turn. Let's draw from the deck. Oh, dear. So I get these. I'm just going to buy a borough, though, I think, for now, rather than just draw three cards. I think we'll get uh, this. So I pay five pounds for that. I get rid of two poverty, get four points. And then let's refresh this while I'm thinking about it. And I get three cards. I'm just gonna draw from the top of the deck. So we've got townhouses, prestige for blue and pink cards. I've got two blues there already. So I definitely want to get that out. Kew Gardens, another one that doesn't flip. So that was my turn, Marty. Wants to draw from the deck, and he only he just has to draw one now. The hospital would be nice to keep out. He's got, oh, he's got no money to do all of this. Well, isn't that just a good time to grab a loan? You can take a loan at any time. He's going to take a £10 loan, and he's going to put out townhouses for £4. Discarding St Paul's to be able to do it. My turn. I am going to draw from the deck. I would like another red. No, brewing though, that's quite nice. Although look at this, Oxford Street. You have to pay four to get it out. Eight pounds, two points, get rid of a poverty. I want both of these out. So I don't want to put them out yet. I don't want to lose one. I think I am okay though with losing the omnibus to put out brewing. Although these do want blue and pink cards. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that that I just said. Marty's going to draw some pulls back. And he is going to put out this hospital, which costs two pounds, and put some pulls back out. My turn, I, I want to draw a blue, don't I, so I can put one of these out. So I will draw some pulls, and I will put the townhouses out. So that's going to cost me four pounds. Marty is going to draw from the deck. He gets some shops. Put a pound on this every time you place a card in your building display. And then when you activate your city, take the coins on the card, two points, and get rid of a poverty. He's not going to end up with a load of brown cards in his display, I don't think. So he's going to put this here to discard with this. Oh, he wants Millbank Prison out there, doesn't he? Otherwise, saving all of these cards was a waste of time. So he's going to discard one of the bridges to put out this prison. Costs five. And he's finally got another stack in his city. 
uh, he's going to stand here to make sure we remember that the cities are separate. My turn. I, I'm going to draw some pools again. I want Kew Gardens out. That's going to cost me seven of my pounds and get rid of St Paul's again. Marty, down to a pound. I don't think he wants to take another loan out. He's just going to run his city. Okay, so the prison. Discard up to three cards. He's going to discard these three. And he gets a prestige and gets rid of a poverty for each one. So we need to get rid of these bottom cards. Slide these down and he discards his three to there. He gets three points and three removes three poverty so he's down to two poverty we're doing very well at keeping the poverty low six pounds for the turners gain a point for each blue and pink card one two three and now he has to flip all of this over i think he's going to keep out the prison with his hospital he's going to flip the hospital instead and all of this stuff that's getting flipped over by the way the points are staying for you know for the end of the game for poverty he gets one two three four five six so he's on eight now over to me i'm not going to have a lot of cards so i don't really want this one i'm just going to draw from the deck i think royal victoria dock that's quite nice and i'll be able to discard this card with it although this one wants me to discard a card and i want both of these Let's draw some cards then. I've got no power with uh, with my Borough card, so I'm going to pay five for Islington and Stoke Newington. So get rid of three poverty and get two points. One, two. And draw four cards. I'm going to draw just from the deck. One, two, three, four. Is that four? One, two, three, four. So I've got some shops now, which is going to be great for me if I can save that till next time. And I've got Albert Dock, Nelson's Common Column, Buckingham Palace. Still, that's for a future turn, isn't it? Marty needs to get stuff out. He wants Regent Street out, so he is going to grab the bridge and he's going to put it out. Costs him two pounds. And he discards the bridge straight back. We should have another borough out. Kensington which gives you a power whenever you discard a card, pay a pound to treat it as another colour. So it's very similar to Hackney. My turn, I'm going to draw the Turners so I can use it to basically discard and put the... Oh, I do I do want a lot of blue and pink though out right now, don't I? So this gets its maximum. I don't want to lose all of this stuff. I've got some really nice points and money getting cards. Yeah, I'm going to do the thing I just said and discard the Turners again to put out Oxford Street for four pounds. Marty will draw from the deck he gets the british museum and he can't do anything he's got five pounds which means he can't buy a borough he's going to draw three cards then one will be st paul's and then two from the deck five brigade each other player must pay a pound to the supply for each riverside borough they own so that is i get high i have two i don't know that's out though so i won't be put off buying them workers houses will get rid of more poverty mm, that was his action my turn. I don't want to draw any cards, but I'm going to have to. So let's just draw from the deck. Paupers. Let's put out the Royal Victoria Dock and let's discard the Albert Dock for now. Morty might grab it, but we can't have everything. The shops. The shops are going to be nice for when I start filling my thing up again. Yeah, let's save them. Marty is quite short on money. He's going to grab the Albert Dock. And he's going to put it straight out. He doesn't want the shops at all because his city is quite small. So he's going to pay the two pounds. One, two, three. And he's got the Albert Dock now. So he's almost ready to activate again. I'm kind of ready to activate. I need to discard two cards from this. So I would have three more for poverty purposes. I haven't drawn yet though, have I? The trouble is, Brixton Prison is nice, but I don't have poverty to get rid of stuff. Let's just draw blind from the deck. Ship building. Ship building, by the way. Um, I 
could get this out. It's another stack though then. But it does help me discard more and more cards. And I would be getting rid of the shops, which I said was a good idea, didn't I? That I wanted to keep. Let's activate. I've got a lot of cards in my hand. Let's just activate. So get rid of a card and get nine pounds. I'm gonna get rid of these paupers. So these go away, these slide down. So nine pounds there. Townhouses, get a prestige for each blue and pink card, including this one, one, two, three, four. So I'm now on 20. Oxford Street just gets me eight pounds, two points and get rid of a poverty. Royal Victoria Dock, discard a card. I don't want, maybe I want Brixton Prison for the future. I don't, <laughs> I want all of these now suddenly. I don't want Nelson's column. You can go away. So 10 pounds and a point. I am just loaded. I've got 32 pounds. Q Gardens doesn't flip, but gets rid of a poverty. Uh, Vauxhall Gardens, two pounds. Two points uh, and get rid of a poverty. And University of London, point and get rid of a poverty. I haven't got any, but there we go. Suddenly, suddenly my engine is going crazy. But then again, I'm about to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven poverty. So there we go. That bounces things out a little bit. I've got three more than Marty at the moment. Marty's going to draw from the deck. He gets ship building. Uh, suddenly I'm being very careful of how I uh, drop letters when I say words. I'm going to put out workers' houses and discard that. And I think Marty's going to run next turn. My turn, I am starting again. I am going to put shops out and lose my, uh, my ships. So we get rid of the bottom again. And slide these down. And that was my turn, wasn't it? Marty has to draw. I think he will take that back, but I don't think he's going to activate. He's going to put any more stuff out. He's just going to go for the city again. So the prison, discard up to three cards and gain a prestige and remove a poverty for each. So he can remove three poverty and get three points. One, two, three, because he's getting rid of these three cards. Or does he want to get rid of Fire Brigade? Because I might just take it to spite him. He'll get rid of ship building. So they fill at the top first and there. So that one's done with now. Regent Street, three pounds, two points and get rid of a poverty. So he is down to four poverty. He gets two points and he gets three pounds. Then 10, he needs to discard a card. Oh, so he does have to discard the fire brigade. So it would have made sense if he didn't want me to get the opportunity to do this, he would have discarded the fire brigade onto the bottom there. And then when it came to him getting rid of the museum, the fire brigade is now out of the game. So that's something you can, you can use uh, the way that these get discarded against your opponent if there's a card you really don't want them to have. So he gets 10 pounds and a point for that. And then the workers' houses just get rid of two poverty. And he's got no cards in hand, so he gains one, two, three, four poverty. So that is very nice. He, he might be able to keep his poverty really low now. My turn. I am going to draw the British Museum, I think. I'm just going to get a load of these cards that just keep generating stuff and don't flip. For my turn though, I think I'm gonna buy a borough. I'm gonna buy the city. 10 pounds, two comes back. So it's eight pounds. I don't want the power at all, but I want everything else that it gives. Get rid of two poverty. And then I get six points, so 32. And I can draw four. I'm just gonna draw blind. One, two, three, four. And that goes there. And I've got that power if I do wanna take a loan. So what did I get? Steamboats gain two pounds for each Riverside Borough. That's three now that I've got. And I could intentionally go for Riverside ones, although none are out right now. Riverside is, you see they're blue and they've got the little river symbol on them there. Omnibus. Hospital is nice to have again. 
Lloyds of London, a player of your choice must take two poverty and I get five pounds. That's tempting. Okay, Marty has no cards at all. So he is going to draw from the deck. Clockmakers. I think he is going to spend five pounds. I've just seen Lewisham. It only gets him one point. He's going to get rid of four poverty. So he is down to two poverty to my nine. And then he gets five cards. He's going to take ship building twice. And then three, four, five. Okay. We get a new borough. Wandsworth. Now, when you run your city, cards in hand do not generate poverty, but Wandsworth itself generates two poverty. My turn. I am going to play. Oh, I need to draw a card, don't I? I'm going to draw blind from the deck, hopefully get a red. Nope, that's some shops. Although, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the omnibus and place the shops. So I can grab a pound from the supply and put it on the first shops I had out. So now all of these others are going to generate two pounds each. And these themselves are two points and get rid of a poverty. Marty... Marty's going to draw St. Paul's, which has been hanging around for so long it's an A card. It just keeps getting swapped through hands. Uh, so he's going to discard it to play Streetlights, which needs four pounds to activate, but gets a point and gets rid of two poverty. And he is going to try and squeeze me out that way, I think. My turn. I'm drawing from the deck. I want a red. No, I get Jewish Refugees, which is an action. Draw two cards and remove this from the game. I think let's do that. I'm going to draw two cards, just from the deck. No red still. Train Station South gets you points for every South Borough. I've only got two at the moment. And one's with his South, though. Billingsgate Market is just a nice eight pounds. I've done my action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I need to get playing some cards, don't I? Especially, I need to fill this up. Marty is just going to draw from the deck and see what he gets. Sewers. He's going to wait until he gets another blue. Uh, St. Paul's is out there for the taking. Uh, sewers is just get rid of three property. But bear in mind, though, he's only got two. So it's something to save for the future, isn't it? For a future activation. He is going to put out a ship building, I think, for two pounds. Clockmakers goes there. My turn. I'm going to draw just from the deck. Great Exhibition. Oh, I want the Great Exhibition out now. I want all of these things out. I'm going to put Brixton Prison out and discard Yeah, the Great Exhibition and maybe I'll get it back. Marty is going to draw from the deck and he gets the Albert Hall. Which is probably better for him. He's only got four pounds though. So he's going to put out sh another ship building, I think. Two pounds, and he will discard steamboats because it's not particularly brilliant for either of us. My turn. I need to draw again. I'm going to draw the Great Exhibition back. I think I'm going to put that out and discard the Great Exhibition. Oh, wait. I've done I've done shops, shops need activating. Last turn when I put the uh, prison out. This turn when I put loads of London out. Marty is going to draw from the deck, see what he gets. Jewish Refugees, he is going to discard it and put out Upholders, I think. Yeah. So they go there. He's going to activate next turn. Me, I have to draw a card. This is going to let me discard up to three cards, though. Let's draw some pulls just so it stays in the game. <laughs> and what do we want to get out? Buckingham Palace is a nice seven points. British Museum is another thing that will prevent poverty and earn me some points. Let's get that museum out. One, two, three, four money. Marty has to draw a card. He is going to just draw Jewish refugees, I think, because he doesn't. He needs to discard some cards. He is going to run his city. So he first, he doesn't want to do streetlights first. He's going to do upholders. So he gets six pounds. Then he'll get rid of four of them 
to do the street lights and get rid of two poverty. That's all of his old poverty. And then he will discard these two cards, I think. He's going to keep the Albert Hall for now. Discard the sewers there and that there. So he gets £12 and four points. £12 and four points. And for poverty, he gains five. I think let's just activate there. So take the coins on the card for both of these. And then I get four points and get rid of two poverty. So I'm on 36. They are done with. Brixton Prison, I'm going to discard these three cards. So these, I'm making the sewers go away, which I would really have liked. Did I draw a card at the start of my turn? I don't think I did. So I'm going to draw the sewers. So one of them would go here and get discarded. Let's do, let's do the nice eight pounds. I think Marty would like that. So we'll get rid of those, drag these down and put those up there. Remove a poverty for each one. So that's three poverty removed. A player of your choice must take two poverty. We'll say Marty. And then I get five pounds for Lloyds of London. Q Gardens just gets rid of a poverty and stays that way. And both of these do the same as well. That's, that's not mine. Two more poverty removed and then two points. That's looking very nice now. Now I've got no poverty, but wait a minute, we aren't finished yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven poverty. So just like that, I'm back in the lead for poverty, even though I made Marty take some. His turn, and I think he is going to draw from the deck. He gets the underground, gain three prestige plus an additional prestige for each borough you own. It's really good for him, but if you own north and south, which he does, he has to pay two. It's seven to get it out. It's points though. What is he going to do? I think he's going to buy a borough to make that more powerful then. He is going to pay six and get Hackney. So he gets rid of a poverty and he gets two points. And he draws five cards. He's gonna draw the exhibition, clockmakers, and then three, four, five. Another underground, so that's denied me the other underground, at least for now. My turn. I am going to draw. Oh, I want train station north, really. Let's draw from the deck. Paupers, that's the exact opposite of a train station. So what shall I put out? Sewers would be nice, wouldn't they? Let's put the sewers out and get rid of St. Paul's. Marty can't really afford to put things like St. Paul's out. So I'm going to pay four, one, two, three, four. And I've got my sewers there. Marty is going to put out Smithfield Market and give up on the Grand Hotel. That's only four pounds and no points. Oh, he needs to draw a card though first. He'll draw St. Paul's, maybe he'll get the Albert Hall out. Five pounds for five points is very good. My turn, I'm just going to draw from the deck and hope to get the train station north. Paupers again. So I want things that let me discard stuff. Let's put out Buckingham Palace maybe. Seven points. Now let's put out Buckingham Palace and give up the hospital. For now. Ten pounds. Marty is going to draw the hospital. And then he is going to discard St. Paul's to put it out. Costs him two of his ten. And he does have to bear in mind that when the game ends, he needs to pay £15 back or lose a lot of points. We should have an extra borough here. Lambeth, uh, same ability. <laughs> My turn. Let's draw blind and hope to get something that lets me discard cards. There we go. The underground lets me discard something. And I've got a lot of boroughs. My action, in fact, now is going to be to... I've got north and south. So I am going to pay five to get Lambeth. So that gets me three points. One, two, three. Uh, get rid of one poverty and draw four cards. I'm going to get steamboats now because now I've got four riverside boroughs. So that's worth eight pounds, the steamboats. 
and more if I can uh, buy some more. I've now got three south, so train station south's a bit more attractive. And it lets me discard a card. And then three, four are going to be from the deck. More paupers. And points for each brown, money for each brown card in my display. No good because my display is filling with... I can cover these up, remember. I don't have to keep these out. I'll probably cover the palace out up because it doesn't do anything for me. Marty is going to draw from the deck. Train station north, it's what I wanted. Well, he's got three norths. So he's going to pay three and discard... The clockmakers, I think. Has to go in the top. And he's got train station north out. Oh, we should have another borough. Camberwell, very good at getting rid of poverty. I'm probably going to buy that before I put the underground out. I need to draw, so let's get... Let's get the Grand Hotel. No, let's draw from the deck, and we want more discardy cards. Sewers again. I want the underground out, so I'm going to give up Tower Bridge because I don't care about it. And I am going to pay seven to put that underground out. Marty will draw St. Paul's, I think. And for his action, he will put out Albert Hall. Will he? No, he won't. He will put out the Great Exhibition, which only costs him three. And he'll discard one of the undergrounds to do that. My turn, I've got to draw again. I will... It would be nice to take the underground, but I haven't got a way of putting it out. No, I'll take it for the future. And I'm going to put... See, the steamboats are better now because I don't have to pay to put them out. But at the same time, Train Station South lets me discard a card and I want to be able to discard as many cards as possible. So let's put that out and give up on the steamboats for now. Marty might grab them. Although he's only, he's only got two Riverside Burrows, but he knows you know, he needs to deny me. Three pounds for the train station. I'm probably just going to have to activate next turn and take the poverty. Marty, his city's full unless he wants to make it bigger. He will grab he'll grab the steamboats away from me, even if he just uses them to be discarded. He's going to activate the city. So Smithfield Market, that's eight pounds. Get rid of a poverty. The hospital lets him keep something. I think he's going to keep that. That's that's a nice uh, little chunk of money, and his, uh, his his thing stays out. That's so he can activate again sooner. Two pounds for each North London borough is six pounds. Get rid of a poverty, and six pounds. And he discards a card. He will discard the. He'll discard some balls. Let's keep it until the end, and then the Great Exhibition. Discard a card. He will discard the Albert Hall. And he gets five points for that. 35. Poverty, he takes six. I'm going to draw some pulls, I think, and then use my turn to discard it and put these sewers out. Have another stack, but I want to try and get rid of some poverty. Marty is going to... Yeah, he's going to draw a tower bridge and then immediately discard it to put out another underground. Or his first underground, he hasn't used one yet, has he? I'm going to draw a tower bridge just so I've got it to activate my underground next time around. I'm going to activate my city because it's been a long, long time, hasn't it? So, oh wait a minute, was putting the sewers out stupid? I'm getting rid of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I've got 10, yeah. So, get rid of 3, 6 for these sewers. And gain three prestige plus an additional one for each borough. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six boroughs. So that's nine prestige, but I have to pay two. Have I got any way of earning money? Yes, yes, this one. For each South London borough, six money. So I'll do that one first. And then I need to pay two money to be able to activate the underground. But it gives me nine points. So I'm on 50. And then I get rid of three more poverty and get two more points. And my poverty, though. Do I, did I need to discard cards for any of these? Yeah, I need to discard one, two cards. I'll get rid of two of the paupers. One there, one here. And my poverty is now eight, nine, ten, eleven. Lots. 
Marty's turn, he will just draw from the deck. He doesn't particularly care about getting these steamboats out, but he doesn't care about the shops either. So he wants a Riverside Borough. Now he is going to buy Camberwell while it's there because it's something I probably should have bought. If I'd had the money, I would have bought it. So it's get rid of four poverty. He's down to six. Three points and two cards he's just going to take from the deck. He doesn't want me to be able to activate the city again, although I've worked it out in quite a nice way, actually, so that I don't... I should have filled that space. But I, I've got a lot of spaces filled in in my stacks that kind of prevent their own um, poverty. My turn, I'm going to... I've not got enough money for the underground. I'm just going to draw from the deck another underground. So it could be time for me to get a, a loan. Oh, we need another borough. Expensive boroughs. So what do I do? Do I draw cards? I'm going to draw three cards. I want the clockmakers. That's some money. And then two from the deck. Train station north is what I wanted, although either's fine. It's six pounds either way. Marty is going to grab St. Paul's and then immediately discard it to put out the sewers for four pounds. Try and get rid of as much poverty as possible to try and punish me if I activate my city again. Me, I am going to grab St. Paul's. Am I? No, because if I pay the four to put the sewers out, I can't put the train station out. I'm going to draw blind and hope to get a brown. It's another underground. Oh, this is really, really bad. I'm going to put the train station out. I may just have to take a loan and risk it. So I get two pounds back for that. Marty is going to put out just the steamboats, I think. Discard the shops. I'm going to draw St. Paul's and I'm going to take a loan. It's late to be doing this and risky, but I don't know. I need to... I've not got a great way of earning money. Instead of St. Paul's, I'll take the clockmaker because that is just some money. I'm not putting it out right now. Let's put out this underground for seven. And I need to keep two spare to activate it. So I'll put that on there for now. Marty is, he needs to draw something. He will just draw blind. Whitehall, copy the activated ability of another face-up city card in your building display, ignoring the activation cost. He's going to activate his city. So Smithfield Market is eight pounds. So now the, the tides have turned. Marty has got the better way of generating money. Gain three, four, five, six, seven, eight prestige, but he needs to pay two pounds. And he needs to discard a card to do that one. So eight points is 46. That's gone. The sewers get rid of three poverty. That's gone. And the steamboats is just get four money. So he's got enough to pay back his loan right now. My turn. I'm going to draw shops so I can discard them immediately and put the clockmakers out. Marty will draw blind. He wants the game to end. He gets sewers, so he can't really do much. But yeah, so what does he do now? Does he go and buy a, a borough? Or does he... Which, which would risk him not having enough money if he's not going to activate his city again. I think he's just going to draw three cards, although these are poverty at the end of the game. Every card in your hand. There's only three cards left. So is this worth it to Marty? If he ends the game, everyone else gets one more turn. He's not going to run his city, although he is going to get five poverty for doing this. I think he's just going to do it going to end the game I get one more turn so it's basically activate my city I've got to activate the city I think yeah because I'm not going to have enough money for the loan if I don't so the clockmakers get me seven pound oh I have to draw a card <laughs> let's just draw some balls uh, seven money for the clockmakers pay two for the underground but it gets me three four five six seven eight nine points £2 for each North London, which is £6. 
Have I got enough now? Yeah, I've got enough to pay back the loan. So at least I'm not losing seven that way. And then I get rid of a poverty. And then Q Gardens gets rid of one. Get rid of three more for these. And two more points. And that is the end of the game. So what do we do now? We take a poverty for each card in our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six for me. And one, two, three, four, five for Marty. Did I take poverty for running the city? I don't think I did, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't remember counting that number. Oh, wow. I think I have really lost this badly. So, next. We get rid of these cards. Just remove these from the game now. We can pay back our loans. We do that in a future step, but £15 for Marty's. He is fine. £15 for me. I'm fine. So every three money is worth a point. We haven't got any. Uh, we work out the points in our cards. I'm just going to go through the stacks now. Okay then, so points for... These are the cards that score points at the end that have got these little, uh, little points in the corner here. So I get 3, 6, 8, 10, 11, 18, 19... 22, 26, 28, 29, 31. I hope that's right. So 31 is 44. So 94 I'm on. Marty, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. So he is on 64, which looks like, oh, it's fantastic for me, isn't it? I've, wait a minute, what am I doing? Have I been moving Marty's marker as mine for ages? Well, these scores are just meaningless then, aren't they? <laughs> I'll go back and put on the screen maybe if I can keep track of when I started doing it. <laughs> oh, no. When did I do that? Okay, then, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? Uh, hopefully, I will just keep track when I'm editing this. Uh, so we do the poverty. And the, score, the right scores will come up on the screen uh, for the end of the game anyway. You'll just have to disregard whenever I started doing that uh, for, the, for the points here. So for the poverty, Marty's got eight. I have got, wow, 10, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29. Wow, that's terrible, isn't it? Unless I've done something wrong there as well. So I'm 21 over. So I lose 15 plus 11 times 3, 15 plus 33, surely that has put Marty in the lead. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and make sure I've got the right scores in the edit, but I am willing to bet that after losing 48 points, Marty has won, because that is ridiculous. I should have done a much better job at controlling the poverty. It was probably down to the ridiculous number of stacks that I had and not really getting enough for it and then having to take a loan at the end and wasting a load of money. But anyway, that is London. Hope that's given you some idea of um, how the game plays and what's some of the stuff that's new in the second edition. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, you can click here. But thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.